Hey tea heads, this is Don from Mayleaf. In this video, London Roasted Oolong. It's always a special day when we get to unveil a new tea from Mayleaf, but this one is even closer to our hearts oh, because yeah. this is the result of many months of planning and experimentation, lots and lots of failed experiments oh my God, as well. So much tea <laughs> lost. So, so much tea lost in the creation of this. This is Blazing Formosa. I'm here with Celine. Hi everyone. So we started doing our house roasted teas a few years ago with Psychic Stream Seeker. That was our first house roasted raw pu'er yeah. tea. Mm. It has become a bit iconic. A lot of people really love that tea. I'm being told by the people in the warehouse that we are down to our last 20 Not cakes much left, of Psychic Stream Seeker. So we are right at the end of that batch it's never coming back. So if you are interested nope. in picking up a Psychic Stream Seeker cake, then now is the time if you're watching at the time of this video. Mm. After Psychic Stream Seeker, we then went on and we did roasted, our- Roasted uh, duck shit oolong. Yeah, so our roasted, house roasted duck shit dansong oolong. That's smooth, smooth, smooth drinking tea. We love fruity. that house roasted tea. And that sold out relatively quickly. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so we've been planning our next house roast and we've been trying to think what should we do? What, what should be the tea that we uh, make as our sort of star to roast? Yeah. And, uh, you know, we thought about it for a long time. Yeah, and we were, you know, quite inspired by Midnight Sun, which is one of our teas from Taiwan that is a medium roast on it, I mm -hmm. believe. Um, very nice kind of knotty notes in there. So we thought, why not experiment? with a bit more of that kind of tea. Yeah. Um, so I think, from what I remember, you asked the uh, producers to do maybe a lighter roast? Well, something? so what we felt was the Midnight Sun is a really popular tea, it's delicious tea, really, really, as you said, brings mm. out the Jinshuan variety has naturally milky notes in Very it. Very creamy. It's the, it's the base, it's the original or authentic milk oolong before the flavoring uh, became added. Um, so it's, you know, a really, really lovely milky uh, yeah. taste. And when you roast it, it just seems to work, you know, that that creamy milky uh, note works very well with that so roasted good. flavor. So Midnight Sun has be, been a big uh, crowd favorite. We mm -hmm. love it still. What we felt was maybe we could sort of stretch the, the yeah. spectrum of flavors um, in this because we know how amazing an unroasted Jinshuan yeah. is. And then and we then, felt like we could maybe add that fruity, nutty note that yeah. comes from roasting. And how about if we created an interesting blend of roast? So the same tea, the same pickings, but roasted at different levels and then blended. Would that stretch the spectrum of flavors to make an even more complex tea? Spoiler alert, it <laughs> does, and it is amazing. Um, so what we did is we the asked- excitement is real. <laughs> yeah, this, this one is really exciting for us. So what we asked is for a, Taiwani, a Taiwanese farmer in Alishan who yeah. makes our Midnight Sun to uh, take some winter pickings of um, this uh, Jinshuan variety and not roast it too much, but roast it a bit further than your Alishan cream, sort of, sort of a light, just over light roast, and then to send it all to us and we were gonna split half of it off and then do our London Ting roast London onto ting. it. It's a London Ting. So <laughs> we definitely then had a lot of work to try to figure out Man. how to roast this oolong tea in order to get the right roast on it and get the right balance between the darker roast and the lighter roast from Taiwan. So this is a That's Taiwanese hard. ex London roast. So two uh, roasts of the same tea. Let's quickly scope it. So season, this is a winter picking. So October, 2018. Cultivar is that lovely, creamy, delicious Jin Xuan variety. Origin is from Alishan in Taiwan. Picking and processing, standard Taiwanese oolong, up to third or fourth leaf, and it's gone through that standard oolong processing. And then, as I said, a light roast, air roasted, light air roast in Taiwan, then sent over to us for the London roast. 
Elevation is 1,800 meters, so pretty high up the mountain. All right, do you want to quickly uh, prepare? Yeah. I have six grams here, already measured out. You can see, actually, oh. what we should show is you can see the color difference in these leaves. You can see the, the lighter green version and the darker rose. So you can mm. very easily see the difference between, maybe we can put it on here. Oh, good idea. The dark roast. And the light roast. And the light roast. So you can hopefully see that here. Light roast and dark roast. So that's London roast. That's the original light roast. And uh, I've measured out six grams here. Oh, so if you heat up this yeah. and we can begin our tasting. I'm very, very excited to unveil this. Wow, the amount of effort that we went through to get this blend right was a bit of a... Oh, it was intense, man. It was, it, there were times that we thought we were... Well, it was so it was heartbreaking <laughs> to see so much tea being used up. We used up, I would estimate, around five kilos yeah. of tea in order to get this um, perfected. Perfect. And sometimes you'd feel like maybe it's okay because you kind of just don't want to use more tea. Yeah. But it's just... You just know, it's just not quite right. Got to do it again. Well, this, the problem was that we, we, we had an imagination of what it could be, but we weren't sure if that was actually possible or if it was plausible. Yeah. So yeah. we were tasting our roast and we're going, yeah, that's nice, but it's not what we were imagining. And uh, we had to just have faith, really, yeah. that it was going to you know, come true. You were uh, very patient. I wasn't so patient. I was like, I think it's all right. <laughs> I think it's good. Well, until I, the last one, and it was just so perfect. Yeah, and when we got that, it was just like it was like that's, that's it, it, man. That's don't it. touch it. Don't <laughs> yeah. need to. So we experimented with different temperatures, different times, different styles of roasting, and um, we burnt a fair amount of tea. Yeah. Um, there's a there's yeah. a lot of um, bags of very dark roasted tea in our house. My gosh. So we might have to uh, figure out what to do with that. But yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's the way it is. But now that we've got the experimentation done and we're dialed in, then you know that will make uh, life easy for us, easier for us in the future. Okay. Can I smell now? Go for it. Oh. Okay. Can I just say that I'm a big fan of Midnight Sun in the first place. So <laughs> for me, this is like heaven. <laughs> but it's okay, very, very you, different to Midnight Sun. What are you Sun. getting? What are you getting? It's got. Fruity notes and creaminess is the first thing that hits me. So, kind of like, let me smell it again, sorry. Yeah, oatmeal cookies. Yeah, dark oatmeal cookies. Dark oatmeal cookies. I mean, um, it's like a raisiny thing going on. What did you say? Raisins. Yeah, There's raisins. There's like that fruity raisin. There's also chocolate in it as well, but like a oh. milk chocolate. Milk chocolate, raisins, um, oat cookies. You know. Yoki bars with <laughs> raisins in it. Yeah, biscuit and raisins and chocolate. It is such a heady aroma. Okay, let's let's Yum. rinse those leaves. Sounds good. This is a tea, guys, that it really just has such a journey. This is what exactly what we wanted. We wanted something that had so much sort of complexity to it. And I think that you can only get that by blending roasts. Go for it, have a sniff. <laughs> I will. Uh... I'm not forgetting the pet today. Little buffalo. Oh my God. It just like, it, it opens up with more fragrant profiles. It's like. <sighs> so much, so many profiles going on like, because of that mix. It's like candied and caramel. Sweets? Nuts. Nuts. Like candied Very. nuts I'm getting. Okay, that's me. Caramel, dark caramel candied nuts. I'm getting um, baked potato skins. <laughs> I'm getting a distinct coffee aroma, which is something that, you know, we were going for. Something that Ooh. is going to like bring out sort of some of the naturally coffee notes. I know that that seems a bit strange, but those those natural dark caramelized, and this was the point, is getting it to that point where you get dark caramelization without it getting to any sort of burnt tastes. Okay, when you said coffee notes, first of all, the potato skin, yeah. 
totally there. Potato skin. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, which I would never think of, but yeah, it's there. But uh, when you said coffee notes, I haven't done that in a long time. But when I was at school, there was a moment where I had Starbucks hazel hazel hazelnut and coffee like yeah. ice. Don't like, worry, we've all done it at some point. <laughs> It smells like that. <laughs> yeah, it has de definite. Ha so, it's, so we're getting hazelnuts, walnuts, candied nuts, um, caramel, caramelized nuts. We're getting coffee notes. Yeah. We're getting uh, dark baked potato skins. There's so this... starchy, you know, sugared baked sugars. There's a jammy thing going on. As there well, is. Though. I was about to say. There's also something quite bright, quite light, but uh, not uh, nothing sort of fresh like fresh fruit. It's more jammed, yeah, jammy it's more fruits. Stewy. Stewy, but I'm getting a distinct, which is going to sound very weird, guys, I know, but I'm getting a distinct, um, I'm getting a distinct Sorry. <laughs> baked potato and bolognese, like, <laughs> you know, I'm getting a savory note coming through, a fruity savory, like tomato-y, tomato sauce, like oh a, my cooked, God. a cooked tomato sauce, marinara sauce. It reminds me of that time in uh, when we were looking at when we were in the mountains, watch uh, getting Tikwan Yin tea. Yeah. And you said bolognese when I was smelling yeah. the leaves. It has that. Yeah, it has so that. So that's a. It's, it's something that I pick up that. a few times. Is this this vine ripened tomatoes that have then been cooked down mm. and have this sort of sweet, fruity, but savory note. Yeah. And I'm getting that mixed in with this amazing caramelization. Let's give it a brew. Let's, quite... let's heat up that water. Oh, yeah. We're going to brew it at 95 to 99 degrees, so hot water. Yeah. It's quite, it's quite cool though as well, seeing the leaves yeah. and, and fell. You start to see more of the green and how the roast affected the color of the leaf. Yeah, so you can see the two-tone going on there. It's a really pretty tea actually when you look at that two-tone. Two yeah, it's really pretty. So it's got those uh, khaki, khaki colors yeah it's like green khaki but then you're getting that dark roast like charcoal looking color. yeah although it's a bit more red than charcoal oh, i think sorry is it ready yeah i'm too perfect. impatient guys Go. i'm too impatient how how long should be i can't remember let's how long do about 15 be. seconds i think cool 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 it's a london thing it's a london thing it's a london roast <laughs> It is, uh, it was really touch and go there. We were wondering whether or not we were ever going to get it. Listening to some old London tunes yeah, we really were, made it <laughs> perfect. We were listening to old London two-step. <laughs> yeah. Just like trying to, trying to keep ourselves going. Because, <laughs> you know, you've got, to, you've got to wait hours for these roasts to happen. So you're just yeah. putting it in and just, just, just guessing, trying to dial it in. All right, I know that the color on this one really does develop so we're going to focus on color on the next the next infusion it's always better on the second infusion it is always better you should always do color liquor on the second infusion that's right looking very very thick let's focus on nice texture thick. cheers everybody and it is so thick i mean it's it's super thick it's like initial hit is like a jinchuan uh, creaminess but then you don't get that grassy note, you get more of a nutty note. Yeah, and I do, so, and, and just like all yen chas, mm. the first infusion you're gonna pick up more of the roast, okay? That makes sense, yeah. Um, and um, it's, your, but yes, mm. definitely that coffee crema, a sort of- Coffee um, crema. Bitter, bitter cream note to it. Um, and it's I think very bitter. Not bitter, but you know, just that's the point. Just getting it on that edge where you are tasting that roast and that nuttiness that comes through, just like a good, a well roasted coffee, and very, very thick. <laughs> Texture is super thick. It's like a, it's like a maroon cream, not maroon. Chatagne, what's chatagne? Chestnut. Chestnut. Chestnut cream. Cream, yeah. you know, for Agree me with anyway. That. Okay, oops, I gave you a load of. <laughs> let's, uh, I'll, I'll I don't filter like it next dust. time. <laughs> Okay. I've become a bit snobby that way. And we're going to talk about the aftertaste because it's already, already, you know, there. Incredible aftertaste. Oh, yeah. It's... I'm not going to talk about it just yet. Yeah. you got to, you know, let, let it develop. develop. got to let it develop. Give that tea Ready? some time. Whenever you want. 
check it out. That's more of a golden hue now. Yeah. But I, I remember that it would get darker. It's going to get even darker, time. but we're just going to show, you know, the difference between one and two. Can, First can and second oh, inclusion. Oh, yeah. Good, so good, good. So you can see there. Definitely see getting it. more orangey in its, in, its, uh, in its tones. This is what's exciting. Yeah. It develops you still in got... flavor. Oh, is this my one? That's your one. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm oh. switching it up. I was <laughs> like, excuse me. Yeah, go for it. I thought I said I liked the second infusion more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Blazing Formosa. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> Dark caramel. Coffee, dark caramel, creaminess coming through. It's like deep, super, deep cooked cream, baked cream. It's super like a dessert in a cup. You know? This is why I love tea. I love desserts, but like, oh, when you get that sweetness, caramelly note. What is that? It's like a, fl a fl uh, flan. Yeah. I don't know like why a, I'm speaking so much French today. A flan. A flan. Oh, I think that's in, yeah, flan. Yeah. Flan? Flan. A flan. It, we call caramel it thing. Cream, cream caramels. Cream caramels, but like but you, put it, you put it upside down and yeah. it's got some caramel juice. Yeah, so you get that, juice. that, that slight caramel, um, very dark caramel on the top, and you get that right. soft, you know. Soft in, in But that. actually, I think this is more baked than that. You know how mm. sometimes you get those flans that are a little bit more solid? True. You know, um, so getting True. coffee cream, coffee crema, more custardy, like getting, more... Getting those, yeah, dark cooked custards and baked uh, flans. Mm. Um, and then the aftertaste. And the aftertaste is this incredible fruity freshness that comes out. And it took us a while to figure it out. But now that we figured it out, you know, when you get a tasting note, suddenly it, you just can't stop thinking about it. It, for me, and for you, I think, is intense strawberry. Oh, you mean in the aftertaste? Yeah, the so aftertaste. I was trying to listen and I was like, No, the what, aftertaste what? <laughs> is this, and you know how strawberries can have an extremely, especially the wild strawberries can have that very, very fragrant taste. Almost it tastes a bit yeah. fake because they're so, yeah. so, so fragrant. It's, it just feels a bit unreal. Yeah. Incredible, I get this incredible strawberry candy note. I was gonna here. say like strawberry ice cream. Yeah. I, I forget, okay, I forget my tasting notes quite a lot. But right now it's like strawberry ice cream. Yeah. yeah which is why wild strawberries make sense because it's so fragrant mm. and ice cream is much more fragrant. Yeah. Oh. It's delicious. But that nutty note with it as well. What, what is the smell Bakey on that? That, So it's, it's the spectrum here is uh, baked, oh. dark baked, into the creaminess of a jinshuan that you would not be able to really get, in my opinion, um, if you didn't have the light roast in there as well. So that light roast is just giving you the, the creaminess and the freshness. I'm also getting a slight nori seaweed note say, coming through. There's yeah. a greeniness yeah. coming through now in the wet leaves. Yeah. Maybe even in the t tea. Well, I actually think, and it would be an interesting combination to try. Can we brew up another Oh, one? sorry. An interesting combination to try, but the aftertaste for me is very much a combination of those strawberry candies mm. and nori, which is that uh, sushi seaweed, that toasted right. sushi seaweed. And I, I don't know if those that combination actually works in real life. I think it would. But Weirdly. my gosh, it really works it here. Would. You know that nori with strawberry, mm. and so you get a really lovely journey here. This is yeah. This is, might be a bit weird, but I'm smelling a bit of coconut. Oh, on, on the empty cup or in the taste? Yeah, well, I kind of thought there was a creamy note on the taste, but I couldn't work out what that was. But on the cup, it's uh, coconutty. Let me drink some. I'm going to smell the empty gong dabe because... Coconut co ice cream. Co <laughs> okay, you just said some of my favorite words. You know this ice cream that's in the coconut? <laughs> in restaurants and it's like, oh, yeah. you know, I Did don't they know. They must like... reuse those coconuts. Oh yeah, <laughs> for sure. But they were addictive. <laughs> I love coconut, coconut ice, ice cream. cream. Oh. One of my favorite ice creams. So let's quickly, before we talk about empty gong dao Sorry, yes. No, 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 it's fine. You can jump ahead. I'm excited. <laughs> it's now a bit of an expectation. Um, 
So, flavor profile, starting off with those coffee notes, moving into dark caramel, dark baked cream caramels, moving on to strawberry mm. aftertaste, strawberry um, candy, and a little bit of fresh nori, toasted seaweed. nori, a little bit of that green coming through. Toasted seaweed. The mouth finish is beautifully juicy, really fruity, Strawberry, uh, my sal I'm salivating with this sort of strawberry candy taste in my mouth. Yeah, it's not bitter. It's not like a bitter salivation. It's more of a s sweet, when you have a sweet salivation. Yeah, absolutely. Sweet and juicy. Yeah. Sweet and juicy. And with that little bit of that seaweed saltiness, mm. it adds, I think that adds some, some kind of sweetness in the salivation. It's very, yeah. very subtle and it's nothing overwhelming, uh -uh. but it seems to pair very well with strawberries. It'd be interesting, as I said, we're gonna have to get some strawberry candies or strawberry jam and see whether or not it works with nori because it certainly works here. And okay. add it into an ice cream. Make an ice cream nori with strawberry. With your coconut ice cream. <gasps> with your, oh. Oh my gosh, summer experiment. <laughs> or I could just use that tea and infuse it in ice cream. Sorry, I'm not listening to you right now. God damn. What were you talking about? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This I'll let is... you enjoy the smell, shall I? I don't even know already. how, this is like fizzing on my nose. So I'm getting, mm. oh, I'm getting those dark caramel notes. That's definitely there, dark caramel on the nose. Moving into strawberry, Oh yeah, dark but caramel. It's like a strawberry fudge. Sorry. No. <laughs> I'm it's just like, smelling this. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's like a strawberry lip balm. It's it's got that it's like oh. a strawberry it, you know it's like a strawberry do you know what I mean? Or a strawberry cream or a strawberry rubber or a, no not rubber but you Done. know Have you been putting strawberry lip balm every on. day, every single day. <laughs> How do you know that smell? <laughs> Incredible, though, isn't it? Yeah, I actually couldn't smell it. It's in like this, you take a, a lip balm that's yep. that, that's fragranced with strawberries. Yeah, yeah. And I used to really like those. I do get that coconut, vanillary coconut cream coming through. Can I'm I, sorry, but I can't stop thinking about strawberry I know, um, it's, lip balm it's now. A bit, uh, I get, I do get coconut ice cream as well. You're absolutely right, oh, so mad. especially on the empty cup, which is weird. Sorry, what did I'm you say? I'm getting more coconut ice yeah. cream here and more strawberry lip balm. Yeah, on that. and you know what? You, I heard you say rubber, and it's kind of switched to like when you're smelling one of those um, scented, scented rubbers. rubbers. Yeah. yeah, it's it's so intense the the fragrance of strawberry that it's almost um, that, yeah, it almost feels fake. It's bloody, <laughs> it's incredible. Add addictive. I promise smell. you, we did not. Fragrance this with any strawberry fragrance. No, 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 no. We kept it pure, man. Let's brew up another this brew. is this is oh, this is what I love. Like it gets you into those childhood memories, like hits you like that. Yeah, and this is definitely feel good. It's this like is a definitely a journey thing. tea. This is definitely a journey tea. And texture, as we said, a slightly dry on the top of my palate, but juicy around the sides and very, very strawberry juiciness. All right, let's brew up one more. Yeah, yeah. And can you talk to me about body sensation? How does this tea making you feel after a few infusions? I, I, feel, I feel like, like it. I, I feel, feel like it. a lot of heat. Like yeah. I feel like like yeah, quite yeah. hot right now. And I do get some energy boost. Yeah. Um, which is yeah, very nice. Which is actually. Yeah, there's one thing that's kind of weird with an oolong, and that's that I feel a bit more giddy on it. Um, a bit more what? Giddy. Oh, okay. Like. <laughs> yeah, no, a bit no, more I know. It's it's very, it's very warming. Vibing. It's very um, energizing. It has almost like a sort of coffee energy to it. Yeah. As in a, as in it's it's quite hyped. Right, but, but not too intense. But not too intense. Not too intense. Yeah. And, and a little bit, yeah. A little bit. A little bit spacey, which is very weird for, for a roast to do long, isn't it? It's weird. I mean, I, I get a bit spacey with sour sap, but it's not a roast to do long. So, yeah, I, I don't know. 
Yeah, normally roasted <laughs> oolongs for me are much more calm and comforting. Yeah, comforting. But this, for some reason, I don't know what it is, the it's London like... roast has just <laughs> brought out something. It's comforting but energizing. Oh. London roast. It's got that thing. That combo, the taste where you, you get hit with this roasted note mm. and you think, okay, it's going to be a roasted tea and then the green and the, f and, and the freshness starts to come through. It's a really, <laughs> really, really amazing combination. So we have um, got a very small amount of this mm. tea that we've uh, made up. As I said, we used about five kilos yeah. just in the experimentation phase of this, but um, now we've nailed it. Um, so we've got a small batch. If you want to pick some up, then it'll be available when you see this video. Um, anything else you want to say about Blazing Formosa. I'm just gonna keep enjoying that tea throughout the day and that nice strawberry sweetness lingering in my mouth. Yeah, that strawberry. <laughs> the strawberry note definitely lingers. So if you like coffee, nutty, dark caramel notes and you like strawberry candy notes as well, definitely worth picking, picking up. up this experimental batch of a Taiwan X London Ting Roast. Blazing Formosa. Coming close, check out other videos, guys. Far over any questions, comments, or video ideas. Other than that, this is Celine and I'm Don from Mayleaf. Thank you for being a part of the revelation of true tea. Stay away from those tea bags, keep drinking the good stuff, and spread the word because nobody deserves bad tea. <laughs> Bye. Bye.